Your goal is to create a humanized homepage that is welcoming, supportive, and focused. And you know what? There's one thing that will derail all of your best efforts. Links that don't work. When you create links in your Canvas course, you can set them up to be flexible or non-flexible. Flexible links don't break when you copy a course over from term to term. Non-flexible links break. You want to be sure that you are creating flexible links in your course. And that comes down to how you set those links up. To create flexible links, you need to use the Links tool in the Canvas Rich Content Editor. I'm going to show you how to do that. When you create links in your course by copying and pasting the link to a page or an assignment in your course, you are creating a non-flexible link that's going to have to be updated every term. Not such a good idea. So here I am in my Canvas course on my humanized homepage. This is the template that I imported from Canvas Commons. I replaced it with my own banner. I customized the color of the text to match that banner. I embedded a video and I also uh, customized some of the words down here, uh, included a link that says liquid syllabus. So here's what I want to show you. This is one of the links that was here to start. And if I click there to test it out, let's see what happens. It's taking me out to a page, but it's a page that I don't have in my course. So that is not set up as a flexible link. Let me go back and show you how to fix that. Um, first of all, we want to go to the top right and click on Edit. And once we're in edit mode, I'm going to click on that link and select remove link. So now it's just text. Okay, it's no, no longer linked. And now I'm going to highlight the whole thing and use the links tool in the rich content editor toolbar. And it's the one that looks like a link. So I'm going to click there and choose course links. That's going to open up a slider panel over here on the right. And now you get to choose where in your course you want to link this to. I want it to go to my orientation or my getting started module. So I'm going to click on modules and choose module zero getting started. So now I'm going to save this by clicking save and give it a test again. And you'll see now it goes out to the uh, Getting Started module, which is where, where I want my students to go. Let me go back to that page again. Now you can add links to external sites on your page as well. Um, so if we want to do that, we can use the external links feature. And since it's not actually linking to a password protected Canvas course, those links will roll over OK. So let me show you what I mean by that. Over here I have the link to my liquid syllabus. So I can copy that URL. It's an external site. Nobody needs to sign in to get to it. It's public, right? So I copy that link. I go back to my page, select edit. And here I want to remove link, highlight the words, click on the links tool, now I'm going to choose external links because it's a link external from our course. Paste that link in and click done. Now that one's going to work okay again because it's not a link that's behind a password protected page. That's really important to remember. Every course is password protected. So when you have students in a spring course, for example, and they're clicking on a link that's trying to take them back to your fall course, well, that's not a course they have access to. So they're going to hit a wall. So that is something very important to know about links when you're setting them up in your course. And when you have your homepage template imported, be sure you click on all the links and um, ensure that they're going right where you want your students to be taken.